Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. I'm starting a new video series, Python video tutorials from beginners to advanced level. In this part one video, I will show you how to install Python and Jupyter Notebook from Anaconda distribution website. And also let's check in the command prompt the Python is installed successfully or not. The command prompt type for cmd And here, let's type for Python iPhone capital V. See here we got the Python 3.7.4, the version is installed successfully. That's it. In this part 1 video, I have showed how to install the Python latest version and Jupyter Notebook. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Now let's install the Python and Jupyter Notebook. In the URL, I'm typing Anaconda Python Enter. And from the search results, notice it's a free download. It's a free and open source distribution platform for Python and R programming languages. So I'm selecting the Anaconda Python R distribution. And so once we open the website, come to the bottom, if you notice here, the Python versions for Windows installer, Mac installer and Linux installer. For the Windows, the version of the Python is 3.7 version. And if you notice at the bottom, there is two links are there, one for the 64 bit and the second one for the 32 bit. According to our system configuration, we have to choose uh, uh, one of the link. I'm using Windows 7 operating system 64 bit. If you don't know what kind of bit graphical installer you are using, go to Windows, right click the computer, go to properties. And here you can find the system type is 64 bit operating system. Let's close this one. I'm selecting 64 bit graphical installer. So let's show this one. And here the package is installing in my computer. Now run this application, run. Now click next. Let's accept the license. I agree. Just me. Click next. And I want to install this Anaconda package in the D drive because I don't have much space in C drive. A computer D drive. Let's create a folder. click OK click next and this is very important step notice the advanced option the first checkbox is uncheckable so you have to check that one add anaconda to my path environment variable then click install You can check the files you're uh, installing here. The process will take some time, please be patient. No. And 
here we got a message completed after that click next next thanks for installing anaconda 3 click finish after successful install the software the anaconda installer we redirect to the anaconda documentation so here we can check anaconda navigator so when I click start button see now we got the anaconda navigator here click that one And here we got a pop-up message, thanks for installing Anaconda. Click OK and don't show again. And here we got the Anaconda Navigator is installed successfully. With some default IDE environment development packages. I'm using Jupyter Notebook 6.0.1 the version for Python. Let's launch. <coughs> and here the Jupyter Notebook is open successfully. So let's write the simple Python program. Click new. If you notice here the notebook there is a Python 3. Create a notebook. Here the Jupyter Notebook has opened to write the Python code. Let's write the Python script print my name is Charan. Let's execute. I run the program. See here we got the output my name is Charan, which means we have installed successfully the Python and Jupyter Notebook is installed successfully. And also let's check in the command prompt the Python is installed successfully or not. The command prompt type for cmd and here let's type for python alphan capital B. See here we got the Python 3.7.4 the version is installed successfully. That's it. In this part 1 video I have showed how to install the Python latest version and Jupyter Notebook.